Hello, Wineabbers. My name is Jesse Meekham, and this is podcast number 375 for Wineab, where we teach you four rules to help you stop living paycheck to paycheck, get out of debt, and save more money. However, what if people around you are not getting out of debt, breaking the paycheck to paycheck cycle, or saving their hard earned money? What if they uh, struggle? And what if they've struggled for a really long time? And what if you've preached Wineab to them, and for the life of you, you cannot figure out how to convince them that they need Wineab. They need a budget, any kind of budget, my word. What do you do? It can be frustrating, extremely frustrating, especially if that person is very close to you, especially if that person raised you. That's, uh, that's a tricky one. So what do you do here? Well, there's, uh, you know, there are situations where you end up, because of YNAB and all of your work, not, it's not because of YNAB, it's your work, your efforts, uh, put into a nice framework. There comes a time where things maybe are looking pretty good for you and cash is not a worry and you're achieving your goals and you might have some left over and you then see a very, uh, very dear person near and dear to your heart that is struggling, that can't make ends meet. And it can be very tempting at that time to uh, help out in some way. It would be maybe even immaterial to you. Wouldn't affect your life. Wouldn't affect your budget. And it's a tricky, tricky debate. Uh, I am of the mind that um, enabling is a real thing. And more money very, very, very rarely fixes an issue. There are instances where a truly uh, remarkably bad thing has happened to someone and they need money. You know, they, a breadwinner is now gone, for instance, uh, tragically, or, or something like that, or a medical situation where uh, no one can be expected to have that kind of safety net in place. So there are instances like that, but there are also a lot of instances where people have, and this is tricky because you come across as judging, right? Um, people have simply chosen to manage their money uh, in a less than ideal fashion. And it can even at times make you feel a little bitter, uh, resentful toward them because you might think that eventually down the line you'll need to take care of them and you feel like that could have been avoided had they chosen to do things a little differently. All of that is tricky, tricky business. So I only wanted to say one thing to it. The other day we were flying home from the retreat and uh, they give the whole oxygen mask spiel. And I thought, that's the ticket. So financially, you make sure your oxygen mask is on first, just like you do. Uh, you, the adult makes sure their, theirs is on before the kid gets theirs on. You take care of yourself first. Otherwise, you cannot take care of the child. And the child cannot take care of you if you're late getting that on. So that is how a lot of people, not just me, but how a lot of people end up reconciling the idea of taking care of kids college if it would make things too tight for you if you don't feel like your oxygen mask would be squarely on then that is a thing and you just say hey, that would put me in too precarious of a situation maybe it's helping out parents in retirement when things are a little tight for them and you just need to make sure that you aren't jeopardizing your own retirement uh, your own oxygen mask as it were in order to do that but uh, it's tough in a podcast to get to the heart of these things because you really need to get a feel for individual situations. I do know that it is tricky, tricky business, that uh, it, it requires much pondering, much prayer, much thinking, much soul searching, and uh, perhaps some compromise and some good, deep, heartfelt discussion with a person that you're sharing your finances with to kind of flush that all out. There, there's usually a lot to unpack. So I wouldn't pretend to give you perfect advice here. I will just give you that little metaphor of the oxygen mask. I do think that's pretty sound. And uh, wish you the best in managing these tricky, tricky dilemmas. Until next time, follow Wineab's four rules and you will win financially. You've never budgeted like this.